Hello, Marvelites! I'm Ryan Panagos, aka Agent M, and it is my distinct pleasure to be chatting with Mr. Christopher Priest, writer of U.S. Agent. So, who is John Walker? Oh, well, John Walker is not Steve Rogers. What's unique about Captain America is that Cap makes it look easy. So you have a guy who has all the right powers, he has all the right motivations, he is a true patriot, and yet he falls short of that, of that mark. One of the things about John Walker, particularly, you know, as we've seen him pop up here and there over the last couple of years, is kind of a jerk. What is it for you about writing what can be an unlikable superhero to the people around him? Is it is it a challenge? Is it fun? What is it what does it bring to the table for you? Oh my god, I was born for that. I'm so unlikable. <laughs> this is a guy that uh that, that, that I, I instantly know. Only thing that I wanted to add with John is just a little bit of that humor, a little bit of that squint that, uh, yeah, that's right. Give him these little moments of pause where I want the reader to see John backing up mentally to the exit from the interstate that he just mentally missed. And he goes, oh, that's right. And, and he has to turn around and, and handle something. But I have a great deal of affection for him and I think I understand uh, the, that that kind of character and that kind of person. Do you see this book as more, you know, you being able to address some some bigger things of sort of what's going on in the world through this character or more of a personal story for John Walker? Or is it truly just a, a great synergy of both? We're shooting for both. We, 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 we want to tell a personal story about John. There are three main characters in a story and each of these characters has their own vision of what America is and what America means all of these different perspectives that's what the american experiment is about that's what that's what they had in mind was that there would be all of these voices that there would be all of these different experiences and perspectives and opportunities disappointments successes failures and part of the price of that experiment is some of the darker things to emerge with that said is there a place for john walker in the the marvel universe of today does he fit in with a team like the avengers anymore does he does he fit in as a sort of you know sort of solo flitting around Where, where's his place john walker is not a superhero no matter how hard he wants to be a superhero he's really not and that's the whole point of john walker this sidekick that he picks up Maury the pizza guy, we will learn more about him. He doesn't wear a costume and he doesn't have any special powers, but in essence, he's way closer to being a superhero than John will ever be. The whole point of a guy like John Walker is to point out just how much strength of character and nobility and self-sacrifice it takes to actually be called a hero in the Marvel Universe. All right, well, we will see what John Walker's journey is through U.S. Agent. Thank you to the great Christopher Priest for being here and chatting with me about U.S. Agent. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate it. And everybody out there, make sure you get your hands on U.S. Agent number one in comic shops and on the Marvel app this November. I'm Ryan, and this is Marvel, your universe. Marvel.